this paper takes us back to the 1950s. And we look all the way from 1950s forward to what were the major primary disrupting forces in the economy and real estate finance. All of the forces that we've identified post-World War II are present today, and every single one of them are elevated. Whether it's currency crisis risk, whether it's rising interest rates, whether it's CRE concentration in our banking system. Even after Dodd-Frank, we have more real estate concentration in the banks than we did before 2008 and 9. The Fed is trying to basically take away quantitative easing. What the Fed did for almost a decade was they disrupted risk premium pricing in the market. People really had to go out the risk curve to get any kind of yield. And with the Fed raising rates, what they're doing is they're reintroducing risk pricing. At the end of 2019, you have to put clearly onto your balance sheet the liability of all leases. My fear is twofold. Number one, we could see companies have their credit ratings downgraded by the amount of liability that layers onto their balance sheet, which triggers their cost of capital, their cost of debt. Second one is, if you know you have this new liability that clearly goes on your balance sheet, do you really want to enter into 10, 15, and 20 year leases? What that means is our permanent market today, whether it's a life company or CMBS securitization, they match those dollars, that capital, to a liability that's long in duration. They need a 10 year or longer maturing asset. Are they going to want to deploy the capital in real estate on, say, five-year leases? We'll figure it out, but it'll take a couple of years and we could have a huge disruption in the permanent markets, the net lease market. The banks can't move those maturing construction loans or mini perms out the door, and so it backs up even further. Regulators freak out. They make it more onerous for the banks to extend capital when we have that capital disruption. If I were somebody today or advising a client, I would say don't be in the complacency zone. I would be in the anxiety zone. I would get business conducted. I'd get it done.